Right, so I mentioned that you know, I spent last night and today trying to figure out what the heck is going on with Matt Weiss, the Michigan quarterback coach and co-offensive coordinator. Story said that he had been placed on leave and that um, he was under investigation for cyber crimes. And Gator, uh, I'll start with this regarding um, Matt Weiss. He's one of these guys that is is a little bit different in that he's, you know, he was a Vanderbilt guy. He was a Stanford guy. He is considered to be really, really smart. He's a numbers guy. He's an analytics guy. Um, and he's, he's just different because I've interviewed him. Um, he's different than a lot of the other coaches that you find in football. Um, not in a good way or a bad way. He's just, he's definitely different. Um, kind of quiet, reserved, and um, he, you know, I've, I've thought of him as a guy that looked at the game a little bit more test tubey than than I do. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, very numbers driven. Um, and he, I've, I've interviewed him a few times, and when he gives an answer, um. A lot of times, his answers made me made me think, uh, just because it was it wasn't he wasn't filled with football cliches. That's just some background. Uh, but so the story comes out, and I think people's minds go to, um, you know what this what these kinds of stories have been in the past. Um, from what I've been able to gather, it's not the worst of the worst. Like when people hear somebody's been arrested for, or not arrested, he's not arrested. Let me correct well, that. Well, because he hasn't been arrested, it tells you right away that it's probably, probably not the worst of the don't worst. Don't go to the worst of your yes. mind. Right? Um, I wondered if it had anything to do with, you know, any hacking as it pertains to football. Uh, and the answer on that was no. Um, what I've been told, this is a Matt Weiss issue and it's going to be you know what he's accused of um you and i have kind of taken a philosophy with all of these cases regardless of where they are from to try not to try and convict people on the air let it play out and see what it is um but it's not the worst of the worst of where your mind could go and it's not a football related issue um but but he's going to have to I, I mean it sounds like there's some explaining to do. It's a personal it's a personal issue. So this is it doesn't sound to you like this could be something that's easily blown off. I don't know if I, I I don't but first of all, I don't believe in blowing anything off. If if there's anything that you need to answer to, answer to it. And if there's a price to be price to be paid, pay it. I mean I I don't think it's something that gets blown off i think he he deserves his day in court or you know answer to these accusations but i i you know it being quote unquote blown off is not something that even registers with me i mean you well no but the, but university does have a you know kind of a history of that with, with mazzy smith it's kind of blown off well they're completely unrelated and i fair I enough i'm just I saying don't, i don't i don't and, draw and a parallel between one and the, the other. only tie is that there's police involvement i guess but yeah. um yeah, I don't, I don't see a tie between the two of them. Let me just put it to you like right. that. But if, if, you know, I don't know that there's any, um, any culpability on the university's part unless there's more to this story that I'm not aware of. Um, but I don't, I don't see it as anything that should be blown off. It should be addressed. Well, yeah. it's, it's um, I guess I would look at it, and again, you go, you go with timelines. And this is something that was alleged to have happened in December. Yes, according to the reports, like between before Christmas, right before Christmas. So, if this is something that happened right before Christmas, did they know? I mean, I assume that his name was associated with it at that time. And if it wasn't, then okay. Then when was his name associated with this? From what I gathered, they found out very recently about this. This wasn't something that, you know, when it happened, they didn't know about it right away. From what I've gathered. Hmm. They have just found out about it recently, um, and it was kind of brought to their attention from somebody outside who 
tipped off authorities from what I've been able to gather. So. Well, that's something to be to be watched and, and see what the timeline is and who knew what and when. Because then you start piecing things together. Well, if you knew about it before the college football playoff. And- I think if they had known about it, it would have been handled because it's not something that you want to mess with. And I can't, I can't. Can't say that, you know, for sure, but I don't think I don't think it would have been treated lightly. Let me just put it to you like that. Well, like our typical approach is on this show, mm-hmm. the facts come out. Yep. Um, see what people have to say and uh, uh, account for themselves in, in whatever manner it is, and I'll, I'll wait for judgment till later. You know, uh, in the meantime, it just feels like it, you know the 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 Harbaugh news coming out. I think it was a sigh of relief, and then this comes out, and it's like, ugh. <laughs> there's, there's something that um, that I would like to see Michigan football have here, and that's like a drama-free week, <laughs> and you turn that into a drama-free month, and then a drama three, do, drama-free half a year, and and all of that. I think Michigan fans would all agree with that. Like, and at least end the drama until football season starts. Yeah, that when the drama's about play calling, it's a lot easier to discuss than it's stuff like this. But 